Well, this feels a little bit weird. Happy 2018, people. It feels like I haven't vlogged for ages. Me and Amelia decided we'd take like a week off um, because we were spending time with our family and things. And if I'm honest, I felt a bit bad putting the camera in front of people when people just wanted to chill in their pajamas and play board games. Some people really uh, aren't used to the whole YouTube thing in my like family world and with my friends and stuff. And it, I just felt really guilty about it. And to be honest, I just wanted to spend time with my family because for me, that is what Christmas is. And we got a puppy and she wouldn't stop pooping all over the carpet. We've sorted that one out now. Just a little update for you. So yeah, it started off as like a week and I'm aware we didn't tell you on our channel and I'm really sorry about that. I genuinely felt guilty. Here's a tweet to prove it. But it felt a little bit ironic to then create a YouTube video explaining why we weren't gonna create YouTube videos and giving all the reasons because I was creating a YouTube video still. So I did tweet it out, but I'm sorry if you don't follow me on Twitter, but we are back now, so don't worry about that. But yeah, it started off as a week, but then as the week ended, really half of our family had only just started their Christmas, really. You know, lots of people work till um, Christmas day and it just started and I felt like people were just getting relaxed and we were having fun and so we went on a little bit longer. Well, I feel like we did. We did go on for a bit longer, didn't we? Yeah, it's been like 10 days or something. Yeah, so that's why we were away. I hope that's okay. I've had an amazing Christmas and I'm feeling good about the new year. Um, I hope you are too. I'm sorry, I know sometimes Christmas isn't the best time for everyone and I'm sorry if it hasn't been that great for you, but I hope 2018 will be better for you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you just had a nice time anyway. I was literally so spoilt um, for Christmas. I, me and Ryan decided we weren't gonna get each other anything because we'd got Juno, um, our puppy Juno, in case you haven't caught up on the vlogs yet. Yeah, so we'd got her and she was quite an expense, as I'm sure you're aware. And so we decided we weren't gonna get each other a Christmas presents. Ryan got me a lot of Christmas presents. I did get him a few because I can't not give him Christmas presents, but he definitely spoiled me a lot. One of my favorite things he got me was um, a ring. A silver ring which I'll show you at some point just like not not like a ring as in a as in you know that ring a silver ring a nice lovely expensive beautiful silver ring and my parents got me a really nice Dr Martin's bag which I'll show you it's quite big but that's what I wanted I wanted a big bag I wanted a big bag that I could fit like my laptop and stuff in when I go to London this bag here so beautiful and it's a rucksack and I love the rucksacks that I already own, which are from the Cambridge Satchel Company. Really beautiful. And boy, have I used them practically every day since we got them for like years now. But the ones I chose when they asked me if I'd like one just weren't big enough to put a laptop in. And now because we're daily vlogging, I find myself carrying a lot of things. And I have like a leather hold all bag, but it's just not practical for my bad back. So that's why I got that. Another thing that Ryan got me were these pieces of art by James Jean. A hundred postcards, right, by him. And what I want to do is put them in the frame, which is what I've done here, chose my favorite, and then hopefully we'll put them on our wall. Ryan originally, um, wait, what's his film? What's the film that's out? The one with the water? No, the one with the water, the James Jean post, Shape of Water. So Ryan was like, have you seen the trailer for Shape of Water? And I was like, no. And he was like, oh, it looks an amazing film and all this jazz. Anyway, we liked the movie poster for it, who was, it was designed by James Jean, who also designed another poster that we like for the film Mother. So we started looking into it. And to be honest, I really wanted to get the original art and poster and stuff that he'd done, but you can't find, you can't find it anywhere. So I then saw these postcards on there and I thought, God, they're amazing designs that he's created over his time. There's like a hundred like really cool pieces of individual art um, and I don't really care all the time about original art I wanted to have some which we do we have Dan Hillier's piece on our wall and so I just wanted some of his artwork so I went to go and order them because they weren't that expensive the postage then said it was going to take four to six weeks and I'm really impatient so I was like I can't do that I can't wait four to six weeks so I just didn't order them also when I went to go and order them um, the postage ended up being more expensive than the postcards which seemed a bit ridiculous to me um, so yeah, so I just got a bit upset and just kind of gave up. Anyway, a certain human remembered about it and surprised me with them. So I'm so pleased about that. Yeah, so those will be going up on our wall soon. Hello, my beautiful. Hello, my beautiful. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. <laughs> Burn.
burn. She's a bit tired because we took her for a walk and she didn't really want to go for a walk this morning, did you? It was too rainy. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. It's a bit dark because for some reason this light looks really awful at the moment in the camera, so I've turned it off. But um, it is now lunchtime. We did take Juno for a walk earlier. Well, I didn't. I say I did. <laughs> Ryan did. Um, but Juno didn't really want to go for a walk, did you, baby? And was pouring it down with rain and she's turned into a diva already. Uh, yeah, so it's lunchtime and we're just making some tomato soup and we're about to feed you, little munchkin. The person who wasn't finishing her food when we first got her and I got all stressed about it, but boy, does she want her food now. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Go on then. I don't know if you saw that, but she officially does sit. It's very exciting. Oh, now she just stopped eating my, her food. It's almost like she knows that she's being filmed. Well, she's not being filmed, but she is camera shy. Here's your soup. I made it myself. You're, You're welcome. All homemade. Is that all blended tomatoes in the Nutribullet? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Juno. I'm so oh, sorry, baby. So I'm sorry, liar. darling. I love you. I'm I love liar. you. Oh, yes, I do. She just gets scared of me. Juno's run out of puppy pads, so we need to get some more, don't we, baby? Yeah. Um, and this will be the last time that she can actually sit on my lap because we've got her our harness thing so she can sit. Is that a harness thing? <laughs> like, a, yeah, the thing that she can sit in the back of the car with so that she's got like a little mini seatbelt and stuff. Um, but she's a little wriggler, I tell you. Anyway, yeah, we had to go and get some puppy pads, so we've gone to Pets at Home, which meant that we had to bring her with us because we haven't left her at home on our own yet. And also, it's always good for her to socialise as many people or pets as possible at the moment. Um, and she's now had all her injections and things, so we can actually take her out, can't we, baby? Can we? Don't know who thought it was a good idea to take a puppy to Pets at Home because, boy, did she go crazy. And I don't know why I thought I'd be able to vlog it because that didn't work very well. Um, but we also managed to go and look at kitchens um, and then doing a plan up because that is one of my, I don't know if it counts as New Year's resolution, but it's on my New Year to-do list, is to finally sort out this bad boy kitchen because we took things out, replaced it with temporary things and then haven't replaced it with the actual thing we wanted to replace the kitchen with. So hence this wall here. So yes, yeah, so we've done that. And then Ryan has just put something up for me. He's put the art up for me and we've rearranged them a bit. So there's the art on the wall. Doesn't, although I need to sort out this because meanwhile when we were doing that, the whole thing fell down. Um, and the photos, yeah, have gone like that. So that's gonna take forever because it did last time to get them all laid out perfectly. But apart from that, it's great. And Ryan is rewarding himself by playing the Nintendo Switch, which was a Christmas present to ourselves because I knew he wanted it for Christmas, but we weren't meant to be getting each other Christmas presents, so I thought I wouldn't spend that much money on a Christmas present when we're not meant to be doing that. But he really wanted one and I wanted one too, so then we ended up buying it ourselves anyway, like on Boxing Day, so we might as well have just bought it for each other for Christmas. And then at least that would have been a Christmas present and we would have saved money that way, but oh well. We've got it now. And Ryan's, yeah, I was about to say, and Ryan's played on it about 99% of the time, and I've played it, what, three times? I'm playing Zelda. Sorry, it's going to work soon, so, as in not today, but in a few work. days, so I'll be playing it while he's at work. I'm going to play it on my lunchtime. You're not going to play it on your lunchtime. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Look what Ryan made for dinner. Oh, look at that fish, it looks amazing. Well, we've done yeah. it. We have done yeah. it. <laughs> We have done it. Oh. Why are you being annoying? That's me yawning. What? Because what I'm saying is you're worthy. Oh. You're so rude. Oh. We have done it. Ignore him. We have done it. We have watched the whole of the second series of Black Mirror and fourth boy series. was it amazing. Is it the fourth series? Oh yeah, okay. Second series of Netflix. So, so good. If you have haven't seen, seen it, go watch it. Okay, oh. take Do you know that? Yeah. Under her bed. <laughs> She's made her own little cave. Look at this. Little, little cave for Juno. Oh, her ear. Her ear. Pull her ear back. It's ugly like that. It's not oh, ugly. Go. It's cute. Oh my god, though. Why are we encouraging this? She likes it. She looks like she's going to the toilet. She's got a little cave. Is she going to the toilet underneath her bed? Do you feel safe in there? don't know why. No. Scratch that's your not belly. Okay. Scratch your little belly. Going back to what I was saying is that, yes, it's a really good series. Um, and this season is really good, so if you haven't seen it, watch it. Whew. 
Anyway, enough of me blubbering. I'm gonna say goodnight. I hope you enjoyed the first vlog of this year and I'll see you tomorrow.